going on everybody? Today we have this beautiful NSX that Albie's tearing apart. About a year and a half ago we wrapped the whole thing in this awesome matte film. This is paint protection film. Uh, it's in our shop now. We're going to be wrapping the entire thing in a custom printed vinyl wrap. Don't try this at home. Paul and this is my NSX. Twenty seventeen NSX, the first year of the, the new version. I had kind of tuner cars before, and then kind of went, you know, luxury sports sedan, and then kind of wanted to up it to the to the next level. So I was checking out some some different cars, but then when I saw it in person at a dealership, you know, all the technology, all the looks, it just blew me away. And then ordered one, um, the white, the white with the red, exactly how I wanted, and and went from there. Kind of done a clean look for like I think uh, a year or two, um, which you guys have done an amazing job. But I thought I'd change it up a little, so was able to work with uh, a pretty famous uh, rap designer, Skeppel, uh, who is doing an amazing job. We're still kind of finalizing the final touches on, on this wrap, but I want something wilder, brighter, cutesy, fun. So we're uh, we're here, and then. You know, don't trust anybody else to do the, the perfect wrap on it. So it's, it's gonna be a pretty crazy. One of a kind, uh, completely original, designed by, uh, by Scuffle. You know, I love uh, 80s, 90s music, games, toys, all the stuff I grew up playing with. Um, so he was able to incorporate all of that and he just went, he went hardcore with the design. So basically what we're trying to do is line up the wrap to the design as close as possible. And what we're seeing is the way it was designed is not lining up with other panels, but because it's such a active pattern, there's so much going on with it, it really shouldn't look too bad. my childhood too. It's an 80s theme and I'm a 90s baby, but still, like this is the shit that I grew up with. So like this is exciting for me. It just brings back nostalgic memories, you know? You I could tear up right now. I could, yeah, honestly. It brings back a lot of good memories. Okay, so end of first day, we got both sides of the car done. Main pieces, that's quarter panel, door, rocker panel, and fender. What's left is the hood, the trunk, both bumpers, and these pieces right here. Was I even looking at the camera? I don't even remember. I blinked out, honestly. <laughs> I hate this shit so much. I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Well, you to see how I do it so naturally. <laughs> Hola, my name is Beto. Today we have a third door. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think you're gonna get done today? Uh, I think for sure, hood and trunk, and then depending on what pieces we get, like uh, we had to order these quarter panel pieces 
mirrors and the hood vents. If we get those in, probably work on those. If not, start the bumpers. You know how much attention this is gonna get? Yeah. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I'd like driving this around. Like, everybody's gonna be staring at you no. and like waving and be like, cool car, man. We should play a game, Ryan, and see how many characters you can name. I haven't seen much on there that I don't know of. Yeah. Trolls. You probably don't know trolls. I, I used to play with trolls. Have you ever had a Game Boy? Yeah. <laughs> like the original Game Boy? Yeah. I played Mario on it. Sonic the Hedgehog, Master Splinter, Stretch Armstrong, Casper the Friendly Ghost, Homer, Batman, Transformer Truck, Power Rangers. God, there's so much on here. I wonder if uh, whoever designed it put something like, I wonder if people are gonna see this. Like yeah. he just put his own flair into it and be like, ha <laughs> You know what this is right there? I think that's Gak. Gak? You ever heard of Gak? No, it's Gak. <laughs> like uh, it was after Play-Doh. It was kind of before, like before slime. It's yeah. almost like slime, but it's like a really thin, it was gross to feel, it was all wet feeling. It's called gack. <laughs> Passenger side lines up everywhere, but for whatever reason, the one that we got for the driver's side doesn't match up perfectly. And the pattern's a little bit off in only a few sections. So basically, what that leaves us with is uh, trying to finagle it and kind of stretch it and warp it to where we want it, and hopefully, it goes down okay where we're at. That's what I'm trying to do, is line up right there. And all this kind of lines up, and then I get to get to here, and it's like, whoa, hold up. That's not the same. But all that matters is this body line. And it lines up right there. So I'm seeing Dinosaur, Hulk Hogan, Power Ranger, this little thingy, all kind of lining up. And then we get to the top, this doesn't line up. See, completely different kind of car. Completely different direction. So what that is, is this van right here. lines up besides this section. Oh yeah, you see that? And for like this, if you're looking at it like down low, straight at it, it lines up. See what I'm saying? Somehow the Power Ranger becomes one. Did you see that? What you mean? This, with this guy, mm -hmm. at the right angle. It looks like one, right? Good. 
Skoplje. Skoplje. Uh, so, we're pretty much done. Everything's, for the most part, back together. Just waiting on the one piece for the front bumper. And once that gets back on, put the front bumper back together, put that on, and it's all done. My beard is out of control. Got to trim it. I think I'm gonna do a self trim tomorrow. Self trim? Yeah, and my hair is like going everywhere. Rob can cut your hair. Rob? Yeah, go ask him. Let's see your hair. <laughs> it's like he just put his hat on and just cut. <laughs> Here's the review, all so dramatic. Lights are off. Oh, wow. Like you said, the, uh, <laughs> the pictures don't do it justice. Holy crap. Yeah, it's like brighter, wilder. That's insane. Love it. Cool video coming in a couple weeks. Love it.